My name is Colin Barrows, and I'm the conservation coordinator at the Friends of the Desert Mountains. And can you tell us what your job entitles as the conservation coordinator? So, uh, the Friends is a small nonprofit, so, uh, you know, everybody does a little bit of everything. Uh, my main uh, jobs would be grant writing um, and uh, marketing stuff related to grants and uh, some of the programs that we do. I also uh, do a lot of, uh, or work with a lot of programs related to uh, trails, hiking trails in the Coachella Valley. Uh, I do some work with uh, invasive species control uh, in the Coachella Valley, and I do a lot of stuff related to citizen science and um, uh, research projects going on in the Coachella Valley. Can you tell us a bit about the research? Yeah, so, uh, you know, the Coachella Valley is home to a lot of uh, unique plants and animals that are found nowhere else on Earth or maybe uh, or have some unique niche here in the Coachella Valley that they don't have in other places in their habitats or their ranges in the world. Um, so, and we're worried about some of the, the effects of, potential effects of climate change um, that could cause some of these uh, plants and animals to um, become rarer or even go extinct. So we're looking at... Um, studying some of these effects using, uh, using citizens or people who have no, um, no uh, official training or uh, uh, formal training in the sciences. So they go out on the trail and they see whether uh, some plant uh, is doing well or not doing well and whether the plants around that plant are doing well or not doing well. Or they go around and see whether uh, the lizards along a trail are more numerous than they are uh, from one year to the next or from one month to the next, uh, and we can then take that data and say, try to parse out, uh, you know, are there big time, long term changes happening, and if so, is there anything we can do about them? Great. How did you come about to be interested in this career? Uh, that's a good question. I, um, <laughs> <laughs> I started out, uh, well, I've always had an interest in uh, the sciences, um, my degrees in science. Um, I've always had an interest in uh, being outdoors since I was a little, a little kid, um, and I used to volunteer with the friends, uh, doing like kind of real fun, uh, get dirty kind of a, a programs like uh, pulling weeds and uh, swinging shovels around, all that kind of good stuff. Um, when I got out of school, I kind of thought that uh, being a conservationist or working in conservation uh, might be a, a good fit for me, so I came to the friends and asked if I could have the like, describe the job that I wanted to do and asked if they would hire me, and they did. So it worked out very well for me. Great. And you say you went to school. What was your – where did you go to school? And um, if you went through different majors, go ahead and list them because it's always good to – Sure. So I <laughs> took kind of a, a torturous route to um, graduation. I started out at Humboldt State University in Northern California as a uh, – Originally, I was thinking about um, oceanography or marine biology, um, and then for a while there, I wanted to study uh, island biogeography and uh, kind of speciation and things like that, ecology, evolution. Uh, and then I uh, finished my degree in botany uh, or ecology of plants at uh, Northern Arizona U Northern Arizona University in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. Great. And did you have any student positions while you were working on your degree? Um, let me think about that. You know, not really. I uh, when I worked at Humboldt or when I was at Humboldt State, I worked as a tour guide, actually leading um, people on campus tours, which wasn't really related to my degree, <laughs> degree at all. It did actually help with uh, working at the Friends of the Desert Mountains, though eventually. Good interpretation. It was good interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I did take uh, had some summer jobs working at. Uh, the James Reserve uh, up in our local mountains, uh, working on some of the um, nest box projects that they're doing up there and uh, looking at uh, helping them with some other kind of random stuff. So I had some internships along the way that uh, definitely helped me um, sort of hone my interest in what I, what I wanted to do and volunteering, of course, okay. at the Friends and other, other organizations uh, up in Humboldt County and over in Arizona helped too. So is there any certificates or um, qualifying exams that you think that the students could benefit from? For my job or? For, well, that you might have or that you 
seen along the way that they could uh, so there's a new uh, certificate that we're working on right now with uh, uh, through uh, the University of California Riverside and through the um, UC uh, Extension program called the California Naturalist Program, which is a certification in the California Naturalist or being becoming a California Naturalist. And this this program that we're starting is going to be the first and potentially the only ever uh, certification in desert. Uh, naturalist or uh, desert natural history and I think that that um, kind of natural history background is really important whether or not you're planning to have a, a career in a nonprofit or at a government agency that deals with these things directly or even if you're interested in lab science or um, even if you want to be like a, a real estate agent or some anything really that kind of uh, background in natural history I think is really helpful because um, you know, we live in the natural world, especially here in the Coachella Valley, it's all around us, uh, and understanding it uh, is really important to, um, to helping protect it. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else that you would like to say, uh, maybe about, um, so you are a manager, coordinator, mm-hmm. uh, but land manager, volunteer coordinator, mm-hmm. um, is there anything else about the different facets of your job that you'd like to talk about? Anything about the different facets of my job? Well, um, I guess I would say on a personal note, besides feeling really lucky that I get to spend at least part of my job like hiking around in the desert and looking at cool plants and animals, uh, which, boy, is really hard to imagine how um, I lucked into that one. But one of the things that maybe was a little surprising to me was how much how beneficial it is to be a part of a sort of a community of friends, uh, staff, and volunteers, and uh, other partners from other agencies who are all uh, working together, who all care about the desert, about protecting the desert, and um, it's really um, a constant source of inspiration and uh, kind of uh, uh, optimism that I think uh, is really mm-hmm. uh, helpful, especially these days. I agree with that, for sure. Uh, is there anything you want to say about iNaturalist program that you started? Sure. So one of my kind of um, big pushes personally, uh, or both professionally and personally, has been to in, uh, encourage people to use this app called iNaturalist, um, which is a free app that you can download on your iPhone or Android, or you can use it on your computer if you if you don't have a phone that takes nice pictures, uh, use a camera. Um, and uh, what it does is it basically allows you to catalog the things that you see, the, the living things that you see out in the natural world. And um, it's, it turns out to be really important because there's, um, there's many, many questions that we have about, uh, about the natural world, especially here in the desert. There tends to be a lot of plants and animals out here that people just don't really know much about. There's, there's not enough scientists in the world to answer all the questions, or there's not enough funding for the scientists to answer all the questions that we have about the world. But by drawing on uh, citizen scientists, people who are just out there on a hike with their phone, we can really um, start to get a better understanding for, for the, uh, the amazing biodiversity around us and some of the challenges uh, that we're facing in protecting that biodiversity. So. Uh, you can anyone can go and download this app and just go for a hike or sit in their backyard and watch the birds go by um, and take pictures of the the lizards, the birds, the uh, wildflowers, the um, fungus growing out of uh, a little shady part of the rock. Whatever it is, you can take a picture of it and upload it and share it with um, fellow people using the app. Share it with fellow scientists, um, land managers, all these people who are trying to trying to really protect. Uh, the Coachella Valley and the, the surrounding associated habitat. Perfect. Thank you. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm, I'm talking about. Right. Thank you very much, Colin. I Thank appreciate you. it.